Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another huge Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. I sourced the last couple days, yesterday as well as the day before, and I was able to find some amazing stuff. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I have both of my receipts here to go over my numbers. So all together for both days, I was able to find 29 pounds and here in Houston, we are charged $2.49 per pound. After taxes and everything, my total cost for everything that you will see in this video was $80.71. I was able to find 47 items to resell, and so my average cost of goods came out to $1.72 per item, which is a fantastic cost of goods. I would say collectively for both days i was there probably about six hours like four-ish hours the first day and then i don't know maybe three hours yesterday so maybe seven hours total so just that kind of gives you an idea i don't just run in and run out with all of this stuff i also did purchase some wall art which i did not include in my numbers i subtracted it from everything because i won't be reselling it but i will add in a picture of it it's really funky and cool so i thought that i would go ahead and add it in i think i'm going to put it in my living room i need to fix the frame though and then see how that goes so Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I did also want to quickly just show, first off, the two things that I found for myself. You guys seem to think that's kind of interesting. So I just grabbed this little lounge tank, very soft and comfy. That would probably be like $30 retail. So the fact that I can get it for $1.79. Also, this little 100% linen t-shirt here in Houston it's like around 100 degrees and so I can basically only wear linen and cotton and then I did stumble into a bin with a lot of nice swimwear I will be reselling these so everything from this point on I will be reselling so I'll just quickly run through these first is this brand feather 11 I hadn't heard of this but um, I could just tell the quality was good and it's really cute. It's like a strappy top and then same kind of thing for the bottoms, but they are orange, very vibrant orange. I feel like these would look really good with a tan. I actually found this top first and that's what kind of clued me into the fact that I should look at the rest of the swimwear in the bin because Frankie's Bikinis is a very expensive swimwear brand. I couldn't find the bottoms to this top, but that's totally fine. Even if this sells for $25, $35, that's an amazing return on my investment. And yeah, that's my probably my biggest tip when you're at the bins. If you stumble into one piece that is high quality or designer or a good brand you want to hone in on the style of that or the category of that like when i found this i was like okay someone with expensive taste in swimsuits donate made a donation so i need to keep my eyes peeled for any swimwear within this bin that's what i did and then i ended up finding the rest of these so this one is by the brand miko m-i-k-o-h and that's the thing is you know I, I hadn't even heard of this brand or the next the brand of the next swimsuit that i'll show you but i learned it because i knew to just look out for any swimwear so you can really kind of learn a few things via the donations from other people so yeah this is the top it's like a very strappy top and then I did find the bottom, so that was great. This will probably go for like $35, the set. It looks brand new. And this one also is in excellent condition. The brand is Via Island, V-A-Y-A -A Island. The top is this little strapless number. Very cute. No padding, no support whatsoever. It's for um, the tiny girlies. And then... The bottoms uh, I don't know which way is front but yeah also very tiny very cute again probably $35 on that just because it's in such good condition I found a brand new bra which I will always get 
brand new bras if they are a decent brand. This one kind of uh, crosses over and back. It feels so comfy. I knew that it was new because it still has this tag on the bra strap. It says wireless 38 double D and the brand is Airy. A-E-R-I-E which is from American Eagle. It's like their loungewear kind of line. I think this should sell probably like $20 and it's very lightweight. Found one kid's dress from Tahari, size 6. I like selling this brand in women's clothing, so I figured I would just grab this. You guys know I love this color. It was flawless, and this time of year, even if that sells $15, again, very lightweight. Okay, getting into women's clothing now. We have this Ann Taylor Loft, size 12, new with tags, blazer and it was originally $140. How nice is this? This is just gorgeous. It's in this plaid print, almost like a herringbone plaid, one button closure. The bottom seam is still sewn shut, obviously, because it is brand new. I mean, I could not pass this up. Obviously, this is not the season for it, but I am going to go ahead and get it listed. It's so sellable with it being a size 12. The print is minimalist, contemporary. It's a little bit newer from the end of 2020. And it also is a wool blend. It's 7% wool. Okay, next, this might be my favorite find of the trip. So it's a two piece, 100% linen set. This is a top, it's a cropped length buttons down and back and then has a little tie at the bottom hem and the maxi skirt. I will do my best to model this for you guys and include a picture of that because I tried it on and it is so cute. It has absolutely no tags. I turned it inside out, but I did Google image search the print and Cynthia Rowley did come up, which uh, is pretty consistent with the quality like it's pretty nice quality and I can definitely feel that it's hundred percent linen so even with no tags I'm pretty confident this will go for I would guess like 65 maybe 70 ish it feels brand new I think someone just ordered that tried it on and then donated it it definitely does fit like a size extra small slash small next another amazing find Bryn Walker I love finding this brand. It sells so well. Definitely more of like a mature, lag and look, artsy, kind of art to wear brand. Size medium, 100% silk. Tie dye, sheer. I'm not sure what you would call this. I wouldn't say dress because it is fully open on the sides and then it ties maybe like topper is what I would call this. But yeah, so your arms go through here and then it ties here. So you would just wear this over like a camisole and some pants. It has like an uneven hemline, handkerchief or shark bite hemline. This is gorgeous and someone had it rolled into a ball and tied in the bin. And so when I found it, it, all, it honestly just looked kind of like a sock, but I could feel that it was silk. And so that's when my spidey senses started going off. I totally unrolled it, untied it, and saw the Bryn Walker tag. So it really does pay off to investigate things. Um, and honestly, because it was rolled like that, I think that that did kind of protect it from getting caught on anything in the bins because it is flawless. Okay, next up we have this brand Fate, size large. I mainly got this because it looked brand new, the pastel colorway, the chunky cable knit design, drop shoulders for a relaxed vibe and also because it is 4% wool so that does elevate it just a little bit. Next we have Democracy. I don't know if, let me turn my light up a little bit. Do I need to turn this up? Oh, was that too bright? Okay, I think that's fine. I don't think I've ever sold this brand before but I did want to get this piece because it is a 2X and it has this kind of like ombre rainbow uh, design to it. Really fun. 
this in front, this line in front is almost like embroidered. Yeah, it is embroidered. And then you have the fun little tassels at the bottom hem. It's all it's also kind of like a poncho cut blouse, which this like wide boxy cut is very popular. People seem to really like it. So I think that's a solid $25, maybe $28 sale. Next up we have J. Crew new with tags. You will also notice a ton of new with tags in this haul. I'm not sure what was going on. I think someone just maybe shopped a lot and finally decided to get rid of stuff that they decided they would never wear even though it was new. So yeah, this is a gorgeous lace dress. Maybe I need to turn. Sorry guys, I'm I'm not used to filming um, at my part. Now that looks a little too dark. Here, let me turn it up just a tiny bit. Okay. Let's see if that works. So yeah, this is a lace dress. I love the sleeves. It's like a sheath dress, I want to say. So pretty. I cannot believe this was new. Size 6. And I did run comps on this. I don't think any are currently available in this exact dress on Poshmark, which is an incredible sign. It's from 2017, so it's a little bit older, but I mean this cut and style are timeless and obviously it is flawless being new with tags. So yeah, very happy to find that. More new with tags. This one is in Madewell. Retailed for $88, size small. Square neck, gauzy cotton blouse with kind of an exaggerated sleeve there perfect summertime blouse and this one was a little bit newer this one is from holiday 2021 we have overalls which fly out of my closet this time of year these are from the brand blank nyc and these although these are not new with tags they look brand new they're still kind of like stiff and a lot of fun manufactured distressing here is the logo there these are in a size 26 it does a uh, kind of one way that i try to figure out how new denim is it's just by looking at the text on the inside pockets and if it's faded or if there's like pilling or any kind of wear to the interior pockets that is a sign of you know they have been used but those are definitely going strong. Can't wait to get those listed. Lululemon pair of hottie hot shorts in like a mint green color. Stretchy waist. Here's the little logo, which I'm sure everyone knows. They do still have the rip tag, which is always exciting when you find Lululemon because it has all the information you need. Next we have kind of like a robe topper from Victoria's Secret in a size medium large. It's a floral sheer topper mesh. Definitely feels like a nylon kind of thing. A little bit of a flare to the sleeve and it is maxi length. So this would be so nice for this time of year. If you want a little bit of coverage on top of your pajamas or lingerie or whatever, but you don't want the bulk of a robe, you could just throw this on top. Made in USA of nylon and spandex so yeah breathable and stretchy love that speaking of breathable we have this 100 percent linen uh cardigan topper wrap and the brand tag was cut out of this but the rn number was still there and so i just looked it up this is chico's which we love it's a tan loose knit base with cream trim all the way around so beachy so boho we'll definitely add in coastal grandma and summer festival beachy yeah 100 linen that's that's the only information really on the tag but that's totally fine more sweaters so when i first i was just moving through the bins and i felt this and i was like okay that's either madewell's cozy chic yarn or something from J Crew, and then I saw this tag and I was like hmm that must be a very old J Crew piece because I didn't really recognize this tag 
But then when I looked at the interior tag, I saw that it's from holiday 2022. So I'm guessing this is a newer tag from them that they just came out with. This is a size extra small. And yeah, this is a very nice, high quality material, just kind of like essential sweater. 30% merino wool, 10% alpaca blend. So it's called like the roll neck sweater. And because that's so new, I think it will sell very well. Another quintessential summer piece from Show Me Your Moo Moo, size medium. This is a linen blend romper. How cute is this? So it's strapless, has elastic at the chest, a ruffle overlay, and then high-waisted shorts. A little denim blouse here from the brand ASOS in a size UK 8. There's no US sizing, so I'll have to convert that. But I just thought this was a nice basic, kind of an updated basic with the split bell sleeve and the frayed trim. You have a zip back. Let's see if the, yeah, US size 4. More new attacks. These are 100% cotton pants by Zara Basic in the size medium. Again, great for summertime. It's like a tan and cream stripe with a tie waist. You guys know I love my soft surroundings and this piece in particular I know will fly out of my closet for several reasons. First off, it is a size extra large, which size large and up definitely sells better in this brand than smaller sizes. Also because of the cut, this whole open front, lightweight kimono cardigan style cut has just been, you know, I cannot keep it in stock, which obviously I don't want to, um, but yeah, it sells like usually same day or next day, this cut of piece. Also the boho tie-dye tie print, the earthy natural colors and I mean it has really fun details like this little trim kind of a printed trim so yeah I love this very lightweight it is a hundred percent rayon okay more new tags these I think I'm going to list as a set so the first one is size extra 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 small so 3xs but it was J. Crew Collection 100% Italian cashmere and new attack. So I couldn't leave this, especially with like Barbie core trending right now with the Barbie movie. So yeah, I got that one. And then this one is just extra, extra small. So one size larger, but I think I'm going to lock them up. This one is obviously a v-neck, but it's also new attacks. Also J. Crew Collection and Italian Cashmere. So I've mentioned it before, but J. Crew Collection is the highest tier to the J. Crew brand. You have J. Crew Factory and then their house label, and then Collection is at the top. So I think I'm going to lock them together and list them for maybe like 50, maybe 58-ish and see how it goes. Okay, next we have Maurice's, which I rarely pick up, but this is a size large, extra large. It's very boho. Again, kind of that cut that I was just mentioning. Um, it is an open front, but you can tie it. It has a little tie here if you want to close it up and then a crochet insert at back. An easy maybe like 20, 25-ish. This was a really fun find, a jumpsuit from Anthropology, 11 C's, size medium, printed kind of a yeah sweetheart neckline ruffle overlay high-waisted pants wide leg i think these are maybe like ankle length i need to look at the stock photo it does have the kind of like gel to help it stay up split at the ruffle and back so yeah really pretty this had little to no signs of wear um, I always look at the bottom hem as well as the crotch area with jumpsuits also under the armpits and at the interior armpit to see you know if there's like deodorant or any kinds of wear and it 
looks pretty flawless. Next we have Sincerely Jewels. I get this as like a bread and butter brand for people to bundle with, but it does sell on its own also sometimes. I just thought this was so cute. It's a cropped, colorful sweater with wide sleeves and it is a turtleneck, also a wool blend, 6% wool. It's very soft. Let me get a close-up of this texture for you guys. I'll expect maybe like 28, 30-ish from that. Another incredible find. These are Eileen Fisher, size medium, 100% silk pants. They're called the Karate cropped pants. So they are just an average pair of pants under here. And then you can tie this kind of skirt or overlay on the side. And the back is regular pants. So I could see these selling with them being 100% silk for maybe like $75. They probably originally retailed around if I had to guess off the top of my head, $200, maybe $250. Lululemon, this I found in the bin with all of the designer swimwear. And um, I anything that just looked kind of like a small garment, like, you know, a bra or a swimsuit or anything, I, I looked at. Because again, that was what I knew. I was basically just training my eye to look for this person's specific donations. And when I saw this piece, my alarm bells went off that it was the same person. And turns out it was. It's a little Lululemon cropped top with a cutout in front at the chest that measures probably like a, I think like four-ish. Next we have Madewell. This is the Kent Cardigan, a classic style from Madewell. This consistently sells 30, 35-ish. And this one, again, looks brand new. These do show wear very easily just because they are a merino wool alpaca blend. Yeah, 30% merino, 10% alpaca. So, you know, if you wash them incorrectly or if you wear them a lot, you're going to see pilling, you're going to see shrinkage. But this one is so soft, so cozy. It's still the length that it's supposed to be, long line with these pockets, little side slits. So yeah, really nice piece there. Old Navy, I mainly grabbed this because it was a size extra large and it was new with tags. It's also in a pretty trendy cut and it's great for this current season. So it is a wrap blouse, a true wrap blouse with puff sleeves. And I will just throw this on my mannequin, take two or three pictures, swivel it around, and call it a day. This will be super easy to list. It retails at $35. So I'll probably list it maybe like 18-ish, maybe 20. Next up, Athleta, size extra large. This is an athletic skirt, And I think this will do really well, being a size extra large. Very practical piece in decent condition. There's no fading or cracking to the logos or anything like that. Those are the shorts on the interior. Banana Republic, brand new, same person dress. So again, same kind of thing like I was mentioning with the swimsuit person. When I saw that J. Crew lace new attacks dress, I knew again to look for similar items like that. And so when I saw this tag just kind of flying around in the bin, I immediately reached for this because I knew that it was probably donated by the same person. It's Banana Republic small petite career dress like workwear dress, really pretty, looks very flattering. The sleeves are sheer and then the bodice is lined, little keyhole opening in back. This is so pretty. It retailed for $128. So I will probably list that at maybe like 35-ish and see how it goes. Next up, we have one of my favorite brands to find and sell, Chico's. This top is in a size one or US size eight slash 10. And because they have the 
size conversion on there. I know that this is a little bit of a newer piece. They more recently started doing that. So I can just go ahead and type in the style number and it should come up. How cute is this? It's a tie dye blouse with embroidery on the sleeves. Well, embroidery throughout. And then little tassel ties. So summer, you can't get more summery than this. Definitely 100% cotton. Yes, so we love that. Same kind of thing here, very beachy, very boho. Magashoni, size medium. I got this because this kind of thing sells really well right now. Should not be a surprise. A lot of people like this open knit kind of design to throw on over their swimsuit. And this was a linen blend, linen cotton blend. It had no stains or signs of wear, so I did want to get it. Yeah, 57% linen, 27% cotton. This also being a linen blend, I did want to get. It's just who, what, wear from Target, but it was a size extra, extra large. And I just thought it was so cute. It's a floral, black and white floral print with these puff sleeves. And then it has, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but it has like ruching through the body. It buttons all the way down and it is a midi or maxi length, I'm not sure. I do think I will be able to find a stock photo online for this, but yeah, I couldn't leave that behind. The quality was there, 55% linen. Okay, this is another one of my favorite Kind of like low to mid tier bundle brands, boutique brands, Easel Los Angeles. So when the style and quality are there for pieces that I find in this brand, I definitely am excited to pick them up. This one is in a size large. It's a turtleneck sweater with this really fun design. It's like a blue base color and then embroidery with tassels at the end of the embroidery so this reminded me of like a free people sweater definitely a little bit higher quality or higher tier brand than it actually is i would say and this had no signs of wear Alrighty, next up we have j crew in a size small once again excellent for this current season with this light yellow and eyelet details at the chest and sleeves this was very new, yeah, spring of 2022, and it's 100% cotton. So this will probably go, I would say 28-ish. I found a denim jacket by Wrangler. I'm not sure if this is men's or women's. I think I will list it in my women's closet, but I definitely couldn't leave it behind. It's so cool. I'll definitely add in keywords like Western, rodeo, cowboy. The tag says 100% cotton size 38. So is that European sizing? I'm not sure. Or is that, oh, maybe that's just like a men's size. I don't know, I need to measure it and try it on and just kind of try to gauge how it fits. Next we have newer tag Zara in a size extra large. Really pretty feminine blouse. This has so many details. It definitely needs a good steam. But yeah, it's a wide boxy cut with ruffles. And then it buttons halfway down and back. It also has kind of like an eyelet design throughout. With that being a size extra large, I think that will have no trouble selling for maybe like 25, 28-ish. More Chico's in a size three petite. So that is extra large petite. Again, with that kimono cut, this should sell very well around $30, $32. Love the really pretty pastel colors to this for a day at the beach or anywhere really. Next, we have more new tags. This is J. Crew size small, Fair Isle printed sweater. Tan base with cream accents and then kind of a ruffle wrist there. 
So yeah, with this being new tags, I was not going to leave it. 60% merino wool, 40% nylon from holiday 2017. So I would guess this would go for maybe like 35, 40 ish. Uniqlo size medium. This retailed at $40. I mainly just got this because it was new with tags, but basics from Uniqlo do sell very well for me. I think because people know that they are good quality and they will last a while. This is just 100% cotton closet staple black sweater. Okay, our last couple pieces here, another sweater, J. Jill, Pure Jill, size small. I thought this was so pretty with the neutral colors and design. It has one fuzz on it and it's very soft. This feels like it was not worn or washed. Let me see what the Material is 70% cotton, 30% nylon. Our last piece for this haul is this Umji brand kimono duster cardigan piece. Love this. These are embroidered flowers all throughout. So pretty. Fringe trim. You have side slits. So yeah, I love this. It was in flawless condition. This will probably go, I would guess, like 28 to 30-ish. Just reiterating the whole kimono, open front, just kind of topper for a little bit more coverage. This season is selling so well, so keep an eye out for it. So yeah, that is absolutely everything that I have to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.